now we're going to spend a bit of time hanging out with the amplifier. Now, just in case you're worried, don't be. I've unplugged it from the wall so I won't get electrocuted and f up my hair. Now, over here, this section is the power amplifier. And the power amplifier has a very important job. Its job is to take the signals from the, sig from the tone generators and boost them so they're big and strong so that we can actually hear them. Now, here's the jack coming from the tone generators and it goes into the amplifier right here. Now next we have these two tubes right here, the EL84s, and their job is to transform those signals coming from the tone generators into high swinging voltage so that it makes them, makes them bigger. We have, a, we have some current but we don't yet have enough and we definitely need more to make our speakers work. So next step is this transformer here. And this transformer has two important jobs. One job is to block out direct current. Direct current a lot of times is cool, but you really don't want you don't want it messing around with your speakers because it causes trouble. So in this instance, it's blocking out direct current. Then it's also transforming that big swing in voltage that we now have to a big swing in current because we need a lot of current in order to drive our speakers so that we can hear the beautiful voice of Sideman. So let's talk about power for a moment. Sideman needs a variety of different sources of power to perform all of its functions. Now if we plug something directly into a wall, we get some pretty high voltage alternating current. Here in Germany, we get 230 volts AC. Now that works just fine for our motor, and you can see here on the amplifier we have terminals for the motor and for the switch, but for the rest of the machine we need to transform the power so we get some higher and some lower voltages. So once again, over here we've got a transformer, and it's doing something pretty cool. It's taking in the power from the wall, and then through the magic of tightly wound coils and electromagnetism, it either steps up the voltage or it steps it down. And then, at the output side, we can tap into a variety of different voltages for the sideband to work with. So I've been talking about alternating current a lot lately, AC. An alternating current appear, appears as a wiggling line, much like the uh, audio signal I showed you on the scope. But Sideman also requires direct current, and this is current that does not oscillate back and forth. It's more of a straight line. And in order to transform AC into DC, um, the current flow has to go through a process of rectification and filtering, which sort of bends the flow of current out of shape in order to smooth it out. Now these guys here are called capacitors and their job is to remove any of the remaining ripple that exists after the process of rectification in order to smooth it out further. Now over here we have this funny looking socket and once again it's like pulling out Sideman's teeth and this is an octo plug, an octo socket, and that's how we get the power out to all the different parts of Sideman. And of course, as usual, there's an interesting story going on underneath. Now, if I turn this over, this transformer is very heavy, we can see the accessory socket, also an octo socket, and this is where we would be uh, jamming in our foot pedal if we had one, but sadly I don't. And over here, we have our standard issue fuse socket um, for protection and we'll just take out Sideman's fuse doo -doo -doo, and you can see it it looks like a cute little trophy and I'll put that back in there because we don't want anybody to get fried now I wanted to show you something else down below we can see some of the components involved in the amplification and rectification process but the other day I was poking my head around in here and I noticed something really cool right here we have a really beautiful little capacitor and at this point I don't really care what it does I just think it's really nice looking and I'm just happy that I found this little hidden gem